Good day everyone. Uh, here's the video as promised. I mentioned it in the previous video uh, that God gave me a, a sign, an ultimate sign that the rapture will be next week, next weekend. That's right. As I said, on Monday I was sitting at uh, the, my chair at the desk and I was contemplating upon uh, uh, the um, stellarium and I said, Lord, show me just, just one sign that you are really coming. And of course the moon uh, the, was at the feet right there when I was looking, it was date 17, 18, it was there. And the voice prompted me, push the moon backwards to where the sun is. And I pushed the moon backward where the sun is and Wow, what I saw was just, <laughs> just amazing, just amazing. I pushed the sun and moon back and I found that the sun and the moon aligns with speaker. Of course, the moon is hidden at that time. It is uh, dark. And the reason why it is dark is because it is behind the earth. So then I also placed the earth in there. Yeah, so that's what it is. But of course, you don't look at Virgo, the constellation of Virgo is way out. And of course, we know the sun is, but this is just a picture for you here. It's more way out, uh, that way out. And of course, you have the moon and the earth in the distance. But this is a way to explain it to you. It is far away from the speaker. It's not on that side. Ne nevertheless, yeah. Uh, that's so far. But what I want to ask you is please share this with every watchman. N not many. That's just one or two that I know that is aware of uh, a Feast of Trumpets. Everybody th think, yes, Feast of Trumpets is gone and forgotten and some are looking forward to next year. However, that is not the case. Feast of Trumpets must be fulfilled this coming year to uh, fulfill Daniel 9, Daniel 9, Daniel 9, 24, 27. Is the, the, the timeline uh, must be in line. Otherwise, if it doesn't come that next year, it will not work. Even Psalm 90 verse 80 will be out of touch. So it has to be this coming year. Yes, and Jesus did say he is coming at the time you think not. And you think that Feast of Trumpets is past, but it is still coming, and that will be next weekend. Okay. Oh, let's discuss this uh, uh, further here, and let's go over to the next slide. Here we see Virgo. Here is Virgo. We put it in the upright. You see there is uh, speaker. Uh, of course, it's the Alpha speaker, the brightest star. As I said, it's got 110 stars, and each one tell a story. It's not the uh, cluster of stars that you see that uh, that you, that is a story. It's a story behind every star, and that adds up to a name. Now, in ancient days, every nation. Had the zodiac and each one called in different names. For instance, the Hebrew, the Hebrews, uh, it's called it says, to Semak, the bronze. Arabic means it, uh, it's called it El Zimak, also the bronze. And Egypt called it Espanolia, Espanolia, the seed. And that's very interesting because now you're going to read a scripture of John for you now. Now, further, if out of the 20 Hebrew words translated branch, only the Semek, the Hebrew word, the Semek is used exclusively of the Messiah. Now, only you need to use two of the scriptures, three of them, so you need to watch the, the rest for yourself. Please do so. It's very important that you do. And please watch the full video because you're losing out a lot of detail. Thank you. Yeah, and the promised seed of the woman, Genesis 3, verse 15, what does she have in her, her right hand? It's, it's a branch, the branch, of course, of Jesse, that came to pass. And uh, Jesus came through the line of J 
Jesse and through King David, through King David, and that really came to pass. Remember, um, the uh, blind man called Jesus son, thou son of David, and Jesus stopped. Yes, Jesus is from the uh, a line of David, from the tribe of Judah. That was the branch, and with a branch in a right hand and an ear of corn in her right hand, which is called speaker, which means corn. John 12, verse uh, 24, and here we read it, Behold the days, this of course is Jeremiah 23, 5 or 6, Behold the day comes, says the Lord, that I will raise unto David's righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall what? Execute judgment and justice in the earth. So what is this all about, this particular sign? What is this particular sign all about? This is just one. It's Jesus Christ is returning, he is fetching his bride, and he is going to execute just judgment and justice upon the earth. Yeah, that's exactly what it is here. So this, of course, is the promise in Genesis 3, verse 15. You remember, go read that scripture. And then it says the next scripture, John 12, verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall unto the ground and die, it abideth alone, but it if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. So what is it, it, uh, is it about? It is about judgment that is coming. It, it speaks about fruit that God is going to bring in his fruit, the first fruit. Now I want you to listen to this uh, clip of Edward Umling. I felt it was so in uh, uh, line with what I am saying here right now. And he brought this word actually on 2nd of October that Jesus is about to collect the first fruit. And I will demonstrate that for you in the Stellarium in a moment, but please listen to this video um, clip first. I present the following dialogue. My father desires to talk. He awaits for me to bring in the first fruits. The harvest I bring, I bring it to the father. Of all I gather, I lose none. My father also awaits for the latter rain. I am the husbandman. My father is the landowner. See, I bring in that which belongs to him. Do ye likewise, says the Lord. I found that word of uh, Edward Umley so fitting, as I said. Uh, and this scripture came to mind when he mentioned it. Uh, James 5, verse 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, husband, man, wait, wait for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it until he receives the early and the latter rain. Now, early and latter rain, I believe that was at a, a, a Pentecost and the latter rain is coming now. Jesus is going to collect the first fruits and then I believe there will be revival and outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Uh, just, and this will be globally in the days of um, J Jerusalem uh, with Peter and that that time it was it was just locally but this the latter rain will be worldwide this just after the rapture there will be uh, a worldwide uh, a revival I'm telling you this is going to cause such headaches to the to the uh, <laughs> the false prophet and the antichrist and uh, nevertheless and there will be uh, yeah, of course, great persecution, uh, of course, you know. So, uh, what Amli is uh, saying there, it, and, it's, and I've always been saying that, 
Uh, the book of Revelation is about harvest, harvest of souls. It's the seven seals, the seven uh, uh, trumpet judgment, and the seven bowls. And God handles each and every one differently. The seven seals is pre-tribulation, and he's going to collect his first fruit harvest, first fruit harvest of the church. Not the uh, all born again, uh, uh, all born again believers as such, because there are many born again, uh, uh, born again believers as fast asleep. Uh, that's what I'm trying to tell you, and I let me prove it to you here in the Stellarium. Yes, and here is on the 16th day. Here is God is saying such a beautiful story here, and this is a beautiful sign. And this is a sign of his final sign of his coming. The alignment with, the, with, uh, let me just put that one that will be, uh, backwards there. That's about the alignment of the, of the moon, uh, the earth, and the sun will speak up. And what is here? It's about harvest. It's corn. That is what, what it is all about. Jesus is going to collect the first fruit. So let's just look at, uh, 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 let's go forward, uh, 18, it's a bit too far off. So let's look at the precise time. And I believe before that time it will be all over. That's just about at midnight. At midnight, uh, uh, then the move is far, far, far away. I believe Jesus will come either there, but I don't think so. I do not. I cannot tell God when He will come, but but it's between between the sixteenth and the eighteenth of midnight. He will be here. And let's look at the moon there. This is only the first fruit of the moon that will be collected. This is, you know, that slither that stands for the first fruit of the harvest, those that are alive, not the dead in Christ, the great multitude that you see in heaven, the great multitude that you see in heaven is the dead in Christ, and uh, that of course is from every harvest, that is, uh, that is what you are seeing there. That is a great multitude beyond number. Uh, dead in Christ is from the time of Jesus left, uh, the earth, uh, from that time, Peter, John, Paul, they were all, were all going to be part of the death of Christ. And then after that is the first fruit that Jesus collected, as, as uh, Edward Amelie is saying there. And then the latter, latter rain is coming and there will be an outpouring of the Spirit just after the, rap, uh, the, the rapture. How many men will not agree with me? You will switch all the video. I, I already seen it, but do please do not do so. Uh, hear from God yourself. They, you can agree to disagree, but don't just switch all the video. And this is what I'm trying to say for over a long time. So uh, it's all about harvest. Jesus is definitely coming. I don't want to say much more. But uh, that is a powerful, a very powerful sign. Let's go back to that picture there. Quick. This is all that it's all about, this sign. So please do share this video for me with all watchmen. Jesus is coming. He is coming for his first fruit bride. Are you ready? Many people are going to sleep again because they thought a feast of trumpets is over. The feast is over. God bless you all people. I love you. I'm praying for you.